Hi there everybody, it's Professor Smith and I would like to go over graphing a system of linear inequalities. As you can see I have three different inequalities here that I need to graph on the same coordinate plane in order to find the feasible set which we're going to represent by a capital S. So in the first inequality the y is greater than or equal to negative one-third x plus three. We have a y-intercept of 0, 3, which means that the first point on our y-axis will occur up three units on the y-axis. And then, because the number in front of the x when the equation or inequality is in slope-intercept form, is going to tell me that the slope is negative one-third. That means from my y-intercept of 0, 3, my pattern is going to be to move down one unit and write three units and put a dot. And I'm going to repeat this pattern a couple of times till I get to the edge of the graph. And I'm also even going to turn it around. Instead of going down one and right three, you'll see that if I go up one and left three, that that still falls in line with the rest of the points. So when I'm doing this, I like to be very accurate. So you can see here I've made my points go all the way to either edge of the graph and when I put my straight edge on I'm going to use a solid line because this inequality has uh, a partial equal sign in it. And in order for this line to represent an inequality I need one of its sides, namely the true side, to be shaded. So I'm going to pick a test point of 0, 0. And in this pink inequality, I'm going to replace the y with 0 and the x with 0. And when I do that, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 3, which is false. So the 0, 0 side of the line, which is beneath it, is the false side. Therefore, above this line is going to be the true side. And I'm just going to use arrows so that my picture doesn't get too crowded for your view. And now I'm going to move on to the next inequality, the blue one, y is greater than or equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 4. Again, this is in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to start with my y-intercept of 0, 4, which is up 4 units on the y-axis, and I put my dot. And then the slope m is the number in front of the x, which is negative 4 thirds. So from my y-intercept of 0, 4, I'm going to move down 4 and right 3. Again, down 4 and right 3. And I'll even turn it around, go up 4 and left 3. And that's about all I have room for. So I'm going to get my straight edge, and again I'm going to make a solid line because there is a strict, in, uh, not a strict inequality here. If it were a uh, strictly greater than, then I would use a dashed line. Now I need to choose a test point. Again, 0, 0 will be a good one. And so in the blue inequality, when I replace y with 0 and x with 0, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 4, which is false. So the 0, 0 side, or the left side of the blue line, is the false side. Therefore, the right side is the true side. So right now you could see the pink and blue hopefully intersecting up in this area here. Now my next and final inequality is y is greater than or equal to x. It doesn't say y is greater than or equal to 1x plus 0, but you could assume that. Therefore the y-intercept is the origin, 0, 0. So I put my first dot of the purple line at the origin, and then the slope is 1 over 1. So from my y-intercept, my pattern will be up 1, right 1. Actually, from any point on this line, the pattern is going to be up 1, right 1. So I want to follow this pattern all the way to the edge. And also, when I line up my straight edge, I want to make sure that my lines are going all the way to the edge of the graph. Because when you put the first line, you don't know where the second line is going to come through. And so on. So if you extend your lines all the way to the edges of the graph, you will have that all covered. Now since 
this line goes through the origin, I can't use 0, 0 as my test point. So I'm going to use 0, 2. So x is 0 and y is 2. So in the purple inequality, I'm going to replace the y with a 2 and the x with a 0. And I get 2 is greater than or equal to 0, and this is a true statement. So the left side of this line is where 0, 2 is, and that's where I got my true statement. So to the left of the purple line is the true side, and therefore the side that we shade. So right now we have all three of these intersecting in this area here. So I will call this area up here the feasible set S. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped. Feel free to rewind, pause, fast forward, speed me up, slow me down, whatever you do. Give me a like and thanks for tuning in.